We are big fans of SVS here at Audio Advice, and their brand new Ultra Evolution line of speakers is by far the best speakers they've ever made. In this video, we'll review everything that makes the Ultra Evolution speakers so special and guide you on which ones might work best in your environment. Let's get started. The Ultra Evolution series consists of seven different models. However, the three new tower models are the ones getting the most attention due to their striking and technology-filled cabinet design, a bold new way of using woofers in tower speakers, and a brand new tweeter. In the short time that they have been presented at electronic shows, they have garnered more praise than we have ever seen in a new speaker. SVS has also updated the complimentary bookshelf, center, and on-wall height speaker to match up perfectly with these astounding new towers. Let's first discuss what they all have in common. Then let's look at each individual model in detail. All of the new Ultra Evolution speakers use a new tweeter for SVS, which uses a diamond coated aluminum dome tweeter. SVS coats the surface of the dome with industrial diamond dust using a process called vapor deposition. The new tweeter can go far beyond human hearing and frequency, and the coating raises its breakup point way out of the audio range, meaning they are essentially distortion free. The coating also also lowers its response a bit, making it blend better to the mid-range drivers. Another pretty cool thing is their organic cell lattice tweeter diffuser. You certainly want to protect an expensive diamond tweeter from prying fingers, which the diffuser does, but it also improves the off-axis response, giving you a slightly bigger sweet spot. With all of the speakers sharing the same exact tweeter and the same materials for the various drivers used in the different models, you get perfect acoustic matching when you are putting together a home theater system. All of the models models except the Ultra Evolution Elevation have been changed to align the drivers and the way SVS did this is super cool. If you look at speaker drivers, the source of the sound from a tweeter is the dome itself, but for woofers and mid-range drivers, it's at the back face of the cone material. The cabinets on the new speakers are all angled to align the drivers. The two bookshelf speakers look pretty neat with this angled cabinet, but we have to say, the towers where the three drivers are aligned just looks incredible. SVS calls this their acoustically centered time alignment cabinet architecture. The look of the towers actually reminds us of the similar look of an ultra high-end speaker from another brand that is one of the most expensive speakers in the world. It is really amazing to see this technology at the price points of these new models. The high-tech cabinet design would fall apart if the cabinets themselves were not made to reduce resonances. SVS uses an anechoic chamber in the design process as they test the prototypes for the best cabinet bracing. These cabinets are built extremely well, with all of them even having a separate enclosure for each mid-range, and the three-way designs have the woofers separated as well. This one-inch thick piece is also chamfered on the sides to reduce diffraction, and if you simply just pick one up, you'll instantly know that they are tanks. Heck, even the bookshelf, which is not super large, weighs almost 20 pounds. Now, just like the cabinet's internal workings, you can't see the very important crossover. For those of you just getting into this, the crossover is the part of the speaker that directs the audio traffic. Each driver is made to handle a certain range of frequencies and the crossover, in simple terms, takes the incoming full range signal and splits it up between the different drivers. You can accomplish this with very inexpensive parts, but your audio performance will vastly be compromised. SVS uses heavy trace printed circuit boards, very high grade capacitors, and air core inductors in their crossovers. While some speaker vendors spend as little as possible on the crossover since you never actually see it, SVS builds it like something that you would find in a $10,000 plus speaker, which is just super impressive. All Ultra Evolution models have three great finish options. You can opt for a painted and more matte appearance in the black oak, or get a high gloss black or white finish. The quality of these finishes is first class, and it's nice to see the addition of the white option for more contemporary environments. However, we do have a pretty strong opinion on gloss speakers from any brand when it comes to home theater systems. Gloss paint is sort of like a mirror, and it's a bit distracting to see your movie image reflecting off the center channel or your left or right speakers if you also have them close to the screen. Just think about that as you are considering the options of the colors. Now, let's take a look at each of these new models and go over their details, and we will start right at the top. The new towers are the models catching all of the attention, and deservedly so. With their striking acoustic alignment design and thundering fast and deep bass capabilities, most people who hear them think that there must be a subwoofer on in the room, and they must cost two to three times what they actually sell for. As you can see, the cabinets are laid out to time-align all of the drivers, which results in a very high-tech and a pretty cool look. 
All three, the Ultra Evolution Pinnacle, Titan, and Tower, use a push-pull woofer system where you have identical woofers on the front and rear of the cabinet in a force-balanced array. There's a pair on the top and the bottom. This method, which we have seen in some subwoofers, has a couple of neat advantages, especially when you have them at different heights. You have far less room nodes with this tech, which means you should get very even bass across your entire listening area. Now, the opposing woofers also cancel out internal resonances, which quietens the cabinet even more. This improves not only the low frequencies, but also the entire frequency range. Now, the only catch to this is something common with most good tower speakers. You will get the best performance if you can have them away from the rear wall, and it would be even better if they were a bit away from your sidewalls too. All three also have dual mid-range drivers mounted above and below the single center tweeter. These are in their own enclosure, as is the tweeter itself. This layout makes our ears perceive this more like a point source, and they do have incredible imaging. The mid-range drivers are just as special as the diamond tweeters. They're all made of glass fiber composite material with excellent pistonic characteristics. Their baskets are not some cheap stamp material, but cast from an aluminum alloy. The vented Kapton voice coil is very lightweight, which improves dynamics and speed. We also like the adjustable feet, which have two options for a non-mering elastomer or spikes with cups. They also have a solid bywire speaker connection on the back. All right, now let's take a look at each model in the lineup. First up is the Ultra Evolution Pinnacle, and we'll just cut right to the chase here. If you're looking at all three and you have the funds, just get the Pinnacle. They are awesome. These use four eight inch woofers in the quad balance configuration and dual five and a quarter inch glass fiber mid-range drivers. They need a decent sized room, but the base that the four eight inch drivers produce will make you swear there is a serious subwoofer right in the room with you. SVS claims these have 24 Hertz in room performance and we believe it. These are also the only ones with the larger mid-range drivers, and we have to say, they sound more effortless and open to our ears as well. And the much taller cabinet puts the tweeter in mid-range at a position that just seems perfect for the typical listening position, giving you a huge soundstage. Now, they will need a good sized room, like we said, and high quality power to really do them justice. And as with any speaker that pays such close attention to time alignment, you'll wanna spend some time finding the right spot and then making sure to use a tape measure to confirm each speaker is identical in toe-in and distance from your chair. If you do all of this, you will be rewarded with some incredible sound. From heavy metal to light jazz to full orchestral music, the Pinnacle handles it all with ease and with a good power amp, it does it effortlessly. Next up is the Ultra Evolution Titan, which I have behind me. The Titan uses the same layout, but backs down to quad six and a half inch woofers and dual four and a half inch mid-range drivers. These are easier to place in a smaller room with their slightly reduced base output. If you have a smaller room, but still want all of the tech in this amazing new series, the Titan will be a great choice. However, if you have a room that can support the bigger pinnacle, in the grand scheme of speaker prices, they are not that big of a jump price-wise and offer a lot more bass and better mid-range to our ears. And like the Pinnacle, you will want a good amplifier and want to spend some time setting them up for the best performance. As far as room sizes and picking out speakers go, we have a team of passionate enthusiasts here at Audio Advice. Now we can help you determine the best choice and when you support our business and purchase from us, we are happy to help you find the best possible placement. Now, the last tower in the line is the Ultra Evolution Tower. While it may be smaller than the others, it still packs a punch. The in-room response from these guys is a respectable 30 hertz. These use quad five and a half inch bass drivers in the same dual four and a half inch mid-range as the Titan and the Diamond Tweeter. Now, these are just an outstanding speaker for what they sell for. Coming in at close to half the price of the Pinnacle, you get the same tech with just some reduced bass output. They also work very well in much smaller rooms, but give you that incredible soundstage that all of the Ultra Evolution towers can produce. Their narrower width will also make them easier to place, and you will still wanna have a good power amp to get the best out of the tower, just like the other two. Now, let's take a look at the two bookshelf units in the lineup called appropriately the Bookshelf and Nano. These have the same unique design as the towers with the angled cabinet, but give you that great acoustic center, time alignment, and it adds a pretty neat look to them too. The Ultra Evolution bookshelf uses a six and a half inch mid-range woofer with a composite glass fiber cone and the diamond tweeter. 
This may be called a bookshelf speaker, but they are almost 15 inches tall and, as we said earlier, weigh in at almost 20 pounds. SVS rates the in-room bass response of these down to 40 Hz, which means you can fill up a small room with really big sound. As with all bookshelf-like speakers, you will get the best results if you put them on stand mounts and keep them away from room boundaries. These will make a great main speaker for smaller rooms or could easily be used as surrounds in a home theater system, with their matching drivers pairing up perfectly with the SVS Evolution Towers. Again, we suggest a good amplifier for these as well to make them really come to life. Next, the Ultra Evolution Nano speakers are much smaller, but the amount of bass that they can put out for their very small size is really impressive. They are only about 12 inches tall and seven and a half inches wide, and with a five and a quarter inch woofer paired up with that great diamond tweeter. Their in-room bass is specced at 44 hertz, which is remarkable. These will be a wonderful pair of speakers for someone with a small space that can stand mount them who loves acoustic or jazz. On a stand, they can throw out a huge soundstage, and you could easily pair them up with the SVS subwoofer later on down the road to round out the bottom end. The only catch is that they're a little power hungry with a sensitivity rating of 85 dB, so make sure you pair them up with a pretty decent amp. But the main use we think that the Nano will be for is a compact surround speaker. Since they get down so low, the typical crossover point of 80 Hertz will work perfectly with them, and being so compact, they will function beautifully on a small speaker stand. And finally, for those of you who will be building a full home theater system, SVS has you covered with the Ultra Evolution Elevation for those height effects. This is a wall mount speaker that is a huge problem solver for many different systems. Many people just don't have a way of getting speaker cables into their ceiling for height effects. Well, the Elevation solves this problem with a pretty cool shape and mounting system. If you put these close to your ceiling on a side, rear, or even front wall, they will amaze you at how well they can fill up the height information. They actually wind up being used a lot with many other brands because they just work so well. The five and a quarter inch midwoofer is in a separate chamber from the diamond tweeter to reduce resonances, giving them a super dead cabinet. This is even more important when you are mounting a box type speaker on a wall and it's nice to see that they go to this extreme. We are so thrilled to see a better elevation model that uses the new diamond tweeter to pair up with the great new towers in this evolution series. Well, this lineup wouldn't be complete without a matching center channel as well, which you have in the ultra evolution center. This one uses a tilted front to time align the diamond tweeter, a four and a half inch mid range and dual six and a half inch mid range drivers. And like the other models, SVS goes all the way to the nth degree on internal cabinet construction. The mid range driver gets its own internal enclosure as do the two mid range drivers for the ultimate acoustic isolation. And now we have to say, when we first saw the Ultra Evolution Center and its price point, we thought SVS had made a mistake on the price list as it seems it would be able to sell for at least 50% more based on everything that you get. This new center has the guts to keep up with the very dynamic peaks and is a perfect match for any of the new Ultra Evolution speakers in a home theater system. Okay, I hope that this brief overview has given you some ideas on which SVS Ultra Evolution speakers might be the best for your system. After playing around with them in our listening lab, we agree with all of the great press that they've already gotten. These are one heck of a great value. Now, if you have further questions about these or anything audio or video related, contact our experts via chat, phone, or email at audioadvice.com. Or simply visit one of our world-class showrooms to experience speakers like these, projectors, TVs, and everything in between for yourself before you make a purchase. And if you're planning on doing a home theater or media room in your home, you have to check out our home theater design page where we have everything home theater and media room related, including our free home theater design tool. And remember, when you buy from Audio Advice, you're buying from a trusted seller since 19. We offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.